Why don't men understand how to communicate? Why do women go through your phone when you're not looking? What do I do if my boyfriend won't kiss me in public? Why do I have to put the toilet seat down? What am I supposed to do when she's hardly in the mood anymore? Why do men want to change you into their mother? I want to know why men cheat. I've been married 50 years, and I still don't understand them. Hey, I'm Kurt Hogan. With tens of thousands of social media followers, including people on my Facebook Sex on the Wall page, I had an idea. Why not take all of this relationship talk and take it to TV and bring it to life? Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Crowley, Kurt's friend on Facebook, and I'm gonna be bringing it to life out here on the streets. I'm gonna be asking those hard-hitting questions and I'm gonna get you some real answers. And I'm also one of Kurt's Facebook friends. My name is Josefina and I'm out on the streets to get your relationship questions and answers. Excuse me, can you come here a second? Why do men always feel the need to be the center of attention around women? I don't know, did it work? No. You sure? Maybe. All right, guys, you've met the girl of your dreams. Now you're ready to tie the knot. The problem is now your stomach's in knots trying to figure out what kind of ring to buy. Well, we're in the Diamond District in Manhattan, in the heart of New York City, and we're going to take the confusion out of buying that rock. A kiss of the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamonds go in order of importance for sure cut, color, clarity, and the carat weight. The price on this stone would be 12000 is the cost on this stone. And how much does this cost at Tiffany's or Saks? You'd be paying $20,000 with your eyes closed, guaranteed. And you'll get to ask questions too. And in each episode, I'll bring in a relationship expert and an actual couple that's been a contributor on the Facebook page. My guy is really into porn, and I am just not into it. What should I do? It's important to realize that men are very visual creatures. I think you got to figure out what gets you excited, what turns you on, and then try to figure out a way to marry the two. Like my mom said, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> And in each episode, I'll also choose one of my social media friends to help out with the segments. Hey, Ophelia. Hey, Kurt. Hey, today we're gonna talk about Clint Eastwood's new film. It's called The Hereafter. I really liked it, especially the beginning. It draws you in with the tsunami. It was so realistic. It was very realistic. I think couples will like this. It's a real deep love story that goes beyond what you might expect. This is the perfect date night movie. What do you think happens when we die? And I'll get out there too and talk to you directly. Here in Atlanta, you can find some of the sharpest, most beautiful women around. But a lot of them are telling me the guys I wind up going with turn out to be on the DL. That's short for the down low, meaning men that date women but are secretly sleeping with men. What's up with that? Dudes, married, uh, girlfriend, kids. kids, guys, you know, dating other men on the down low, you know? Nobody's willing to come out and say, okay, I'm just bisexual. I have a friend who suspects her husband is on the DL. So you got the dudes of the down low claim to be straight, but they're not, so it's, it's kind of rough for a woman. And some are saying that the ratio between men and women in this town is really affecting the odds of having a successful relationship. Some like it, while others, well, not so much. I mean, women outnumber the men. And I hear numbers as far as 20 to 1. I see a lot of women. There's a lot of women in Atlanta. About 13,000 to 1. For a guy to straighten Atlanta, to me, it's his help. There is a lot more women. I live in Midtown, though, which is the gay part of town. So it doesn't really work out for me so much because I get hit on a lot by guys. But that's not what I'm looking for. It feels good to have my husband there to help me work out, and he likes the end result. Marriage is a job, and when you take on something like working out together, it makes that job a lot easier. And in the end, single people, as well as couples, will have a show they can watch together, giving them things to talk about to make the relationships even better. And who knows, maybe I'll find love too. When does the sex go out of a marriage? It should never, it should never. leave. It should never leave. It should. Hey, I don't no. think so. And we in our sixties. I'm ready now. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, baby. We go for a walk. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> <laughs>